so we can see it. Go on then. Good morning. So we're at Villa Villa Montecchio. Um, gonna have breakfast. I'm so hungry. Oh God. This way. This is cute. Oh, how cute is this place? Hi, my lovelies. Not you. <laughs> um, I feel like I haven't really spoken on here today because, um, it's been a busy day, like a really rushed morning, so my head is really itchy. It's been a really rushed day today, so I haven't really had time to really talk to the camera or, you know, speak to you guys. I'm vlogging. Yeah. Can he put his bonnet on properly? He looks like a rasta. <laughs> um, yeah. It's been on the go, like obviously went to bed really late because I was editing. I didn't go to bed till like one o'clock and then the kids had a horse riding lesson this morning at 8.30. Even to get there on time was just so crazy. So we've been up since then and then we went to breakfast at Hotel um, Villa Monticello. I showed that. And then we went, then we came back and I napped because I was just so tired. And then we got up and got ready and went to Cozo for dinner. And the kids, to be fair, the toddlers were well behaved. They slept and then when they woke up, um, they just ate and they were calm. It was the babies that decided to show us pepper tonight. So both of the babies were on one, just really unsettled. I think they were really hot and they're both teething, so... They just were not in the mood. Like we couldn't really enjoy the dinner. Like we was all getting hot, flustered, passing babies to daddy. But daddies are passing the babies back. We just wanted to leave. By the time we finished our food, it was just like let's just get out of here. It's just too hot and sweaty for this. And the noodles, I always get their their like spicy seafood noodles, but today they're really really hot, and it's just even too hot to be dealing with that kind of heat. We tried to go sandbox. Um, but you can't get into sandbox with kids after five o'clock. So make note of that if you are trying to go there with the children. You can go there with children. And if the kids are still in there after five, it's fine. But by like seven, I think that the kids have to like kind of leave because it starts turning into more of an adult vibe. Um, but yeah, we didn't get into there. So then we just went cause out for dinner instead. And I was meant to shoot, but I didn't get to shoot. I just wasted my outfit so we're gonna try and shoot another day or well, we're gonna try and I'm gonna try and shoot tomorrow actually um, and hopefully that comes out all right um I am intentionally holding off from share over sharing on Instagram because I want you guys to come over here and watch my content because I feel like you guys are like oh she's gonna show on Instagram anyway so no I'm purposely withholding stuff so come here and watch my vlogs thank you very much um it's gonna be a chilled night tonight i think the kids are gonna go to bed and well they're getting ready for bed now and then the adults are just gonna have chill time downstairs and then yeah tomorrow's a new day tomorrow i'm going to get my nails done um i'm gonna try and get up early hopefully and go for a walk and then after that go um go get my nails done finally and then come back, get ready to start the day kind of thing and see if we can get some content shot. 
it's difficult i'm not gonna lie it's not it's not the easiest thing with kids two babies in the heat it's not easy but it can be done just you know i can't put too much pressure on myself this one has finished it she just yanked himself off <laughs> Let me know if you're enjoying these vlogs let me know what you want to see more of um in the comment section as well and if you haven't you know been here before nice to meet you my name is alexis ajay um i cover things all things fashion food and lifestyle related kind of thing but yeah if you want to see more let me know when you let me know what you want to see make sure you comment subscribe if you haven't already and yeah like this video so I know that you like it and I can produce more content along these lines. And it's not really um, Christmassy here, you know. It's very... I feel like I'm being robbed of Christmas at the moment because it's not Christmassy in Ghana at all. They haven't even put up one Christmas light yet. So even though this is Vlogmas, there is nothing Christmassy about what's going on over here at the moment. But hopefully it will get better. Excuse me, there's trees in the Akramo. What trees in the Akramo? There's Christmas trees. Oh, there's Christmas trees in their crown mall, apparently. So, um... There's a, a Toyland shop. There's a what shop? Toyland shop. Toyland? That shop, right. Like, for toys, for kids? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. So we can get the kids something, then. Yeah. We haven't got the kids anything for Christmas. So apparently in the crown mall, it's a bit more Christmassy, but we'll see. I haven't seen it. And um, I want to I wanna start looking out for, like, Christmas decorations. And see if we can get like a small tree just for the kids to decorate. But yeah, anyway, guys, I'm gonna go now again. Good night. <clears throat> so, <laughs> we are off for a walk. We're gonna plan to walk every day, um, every morning until Gina gets here, and then Gina will now whip us into shape. So, I've got my corset on. <clears throat> And yeah, we're gonna just go for an hour walk every morning, hopefully, God willing. My two piece is from Gymshark. I got it when everyone, their cat, dog, and nan was promoting Gymshark on Black Friday. So I got this little two piece, <coughs> which was, it came up to about 25 or I think 30 pounds. And I really like it because I never get colored pieces, I always get um, black. But because I'm in Ghana, I thought, why not? It's very nice, very flattering. The materials, the quality is really good. Like, I'm really surprised. Well, I shouldn't be because Gina talks about it all the time. And um, she's always... Oh, my goodness. You lot cannot be doing that. <laughs> but, yeah, anyway. Gonna go for a walk. Catch up. So, we've gone for our walk. It was really nice, actually. Um... I had to do it every morning with my sister and then we found we discovered that there's a gym downstairs as well so we're gonna utilize that because honestly um yeah we wanna can't come here and just be eating because that's also all that's gonna happen and we're just gonna end up putting on loads away so oh sorry i'm making your milk now It was a really good walk. Um, we're now gonna get ready and go to the pool. Oh God. No, look at this all the time. Look at that. He's always vomiting on me all the time. Anyway, I'm gonna go and get cleaned up. He's changed his nappy and get going. Make some the jeans on, um, my Loewe glasses, and this cute swimsuit that I got from ASOS. I love the colour. The reason why I'm wearing jeans is because I didn't have time to find anything else to wear, and I've got flip flops on. Can't bother to find my shoes. The kids are just doing a madness, and we need to leave. My husband's waiting for us because he's got a meeting, so he's going to drop us to Kipinski, and then we are going to stay there and wait for the husbands to meet us afterwards. But I like this outfit anyway, it's quite cute. And I've got a split on the side, so I'm getting lots of air in my jeans. And yeah, I've got the cutout detail here. I mean, it's a cute outfit. Anyway, gotta go. Bye.
So we can see it. Go on then. Beautiful. <laughs> I look like a <laughs> superhero. <laughs> Always touching my hair when I'm on camera. Anyway, we are at the Pinsky Hotel. Um, we come here often, like at least once a week when we're in Ghana. The kids are in the pool with their auntie, and I'm breastfeeding, sort of. Like this baby is just up and down, up and down. I don't know. I don't think he likes the heat very much. He's been very clingy, and I think he's very thirsty, so he's just always wanting to be on the boob. Um, we've ordered some food. I'm getting some prawn sliders, which I hope are nice, and some chips. Kids are having pasta, and um, so my sister in law's getting what does she, she get? I think she got chicken stew or something. So, yeah, we're just gonna chill here until the husbands meet us here because I, I don't think I can move again with these children. <laughs> I feel like I'm always complaining about them, they are a joy and they're so funny. But it's a lot of work. I'm not gonna. It's a lot. It's a lot of work. It is. I'm, I'm always honest anyway. So, but yeah. Other than that, we were having a good time. The kids are playing in the pool, enjoying themselves. So yeah, we're, we're good. We good. Hey guys. So today or well, this morning, we've gone for a walk. Me and my sister-in-law, we've gone for a walk and we did lots of squats and lunges and stuff like that and now we're going to go and get breakfast with the rest of the family um again comfort is key when you've got the kids once our mums come and our sisters come i think that's when i'll start dressing up again and like shooting the content that i need to shoot because right now i just need to be comfortable if i'm being honest so um i've got this glassworks top which was gifted to me and these um, linen trousers that i got from asos by, I can't remember the name, but I'm gonna put it down in the description box. I've got my Misoma necklace. I'm so annoyed that it doesn't have, oh, it does have pockets, right, okay, cool. So it does have pockets. So the glassworks has a little cutout detail. I know what I said about cutouts, but this one isn't too bad. I think it's quite cute, to be honest. Um, they're really long, I can dress them up or down. I've got my beaded sandals on, my hair in a ponytail, no makeup, because comfort is key um and hopefully we can start doing up the gram and stop doing up content the way i want to soon so yeah for our morning walk to be honest I was not on it today I'm actually so tired like I just I need to rest we have been on 100 since we got here even prior to coming here obviously 
prepping and running around, going to bed late, packing. I'm so tired. I need to rest. Um, but still getting in the morning exercise, which I'm grateful for. I'm not going to lie, I was running. She's in front of me, paddle walking there. <sighs> Today is a chill day. We are going to get some shopping so we can cook at home and we we'll just chill by the pool and then uh, I'm going to try and see if I can shoot some content which means it's not that much of a chill day but I really need to get some reels done um, yeah but other than that there's not much going on today nothing planned so you're not going to see that much going on and even yesterday I didn't vlog that much because I just I was just tired. Tired, can bother to pick up my phone or the camera. Like, your girl is tired, man. But grateful nonetheless to be in such a beautiful, beautiful country for Christmas with my family, my children, my husband, and my loved ones. You know, these are things you can't take for granted. My children are experiencing things that, you know, I used to hear my white peers at school talk about and you know the most I did was go to Manchester for summer holidays or Christmas to see my dad so yeah we're blessed we're highly favoured is this man drunk or you drunk you can't see someone standing there silly man babies are sleeping they love this walk though absolutely love it they literally just fall asleep every single time <sighs> i'm panting because we're going uphill <sighs> and it's hot Um, it's not even breakfast, it's brunch now. Huh? Villa Monticello. Where and they do a really nice Where's club sandwich. I love it. Hey, they didn't make this properly last time. <clears throat> there was no extra layer of bread. There's club sandwich has to have three layers of bread. Like I don't remember that. And chips, not very healthy. Since we've just gone on our walk, but... Life is for enjoyment. We have fruit, see, so you've got fruit. Look, and he got some ice. Balance. Your husband. Oh, he got the lamb things. Yeah. I don't want it. I don't like it. You don't like some ice? No. Really? Yeah. yeah. So hungry. Bless his food all over Christ's sake. Oh, Amen. Yeah. Bless the hands that made the food. Mm. Bless the mouths that eat the food. Mm. Sanctify mm. this food, Heavenly Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Mm. Mm. So I've just finished. Well, not just finished. We're somewhere else now, but I shot a reel today. And when I came on the camera with my makeup on, I looked like a witch. So I had to take it off before I scared you lot. in last week Thursday at like 9 30 something it's Friday today <sighs> so it's like day seven day eight um going for a morning walk as per usual a bit annoyed um 
I mean, good and bad news. Good news is we found somewhere to live for the next six weeks. We found an apartment on the same like compound where my sister and brother-in-law are staying. So that's good. We'll be near each other when it comes to childcare and just keeping each other company you know, and stuff like that. Um, so that's the good news. Annoying news is the restrictions on the double vaccine coming into Ghana. As you know, I've made myself very vocal on my socials how I feel about the vaccine and I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I just don't believe, I feel like, I believe that we should have a choice and, you know, everyone should have freedom to choose what they put in their bodies. It shouldn't be forced or mandatory due, you know, because of, you know, tests that they've, they've rolled out a vaccine in six months. Like, it's ridiculous. So many people have died. There have been so many complications. So many things have happened. Like, it's just really annoying. But hopefully, I'm praying that we get to all spend Christmas together and this don't all go tits up. Hope you guys are well. I'm preparing for Christmas. It's a container shop. I love the design. It's so cool. Hi guys. It's Patrick, tour guide. Um, what would you do? Hunt your boats. <laughs> I thought about how am I going to implement Montessori here and oh, that's mad because I wanted to do this in some form or dynamic but I didn't know how and I've got this up right here this is so cool this is a guest room with a cot and then round there is the oh ensuite bathroom and then we have a third bedroom I think this is the yeah the smaller bedroom of them all and again it has a bathroom one sweet bathroom and a balcony I love that they all have like vanity areas because I don't have that at my brother-in-law's place which I thought was really good like I've got a bright room to do my makeup in which is good so all this dryness you're seeing is yes Layers right there. All right, let's go. Finally, in our apartment, which is lovely, I couldn't be happier. Honestly, like I know things didn't. Things, you know, yeah, the devil's a liar. From the beginning, like from when we was meant to leave London, things have been going wrong. And just ignore this. This is my dermatitis. Just doing what it does so it's very dry i need to cream it and whatever but anyway if you can just concentrate on my face um yeah we things have been just up and down for a while now um obviously this is not wasn't our original plan but god has a way of working things out for you and just putting you in the place that he wants you to be and god knows and sees all before it happened so we are where, where we're supposed to be and i couldn't be happier we've saved a lot of money we saved a lot of money regarding where we wanted to stay before um and this place just works for us it works for us um we have oh, this massive closet which i'm appreciating so much right now because i if you know me and when i talk about holidays and stuff we don't have a floor length mirror shoot I need to get one. 
I'm gonna have to get one and keep it in storage because I need one for my outfits. But um, yeah, if you know me, I mean, I need storage. I need to hang my clothes. I just need to, like I can't do the whole living out of a suitcase. It drives me insane. So I'm so glad I've got really decent closet space. You doing really polies? Are you doing really polies? Yeah, you, you're so pleased with yourself. Oh, I wish I could show you the face. You doing really polies? Yeah. Really polies? Oh. You doing really polies? You doing really polies? You doing really polies? I've realised I can do my outfit um, post here. Definitely, I can do it here. This abstract mirror. You can see my feet. Yeah, that's cool. This will do. Oh, it's a rushed one. Sorry, guys. Hi, guys. Um, we're on our way to brunch at a new venue, a new place. I'm just showing you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my ASOS dress, my Hermes hat, and I'm going to wear my Hermes sandals. And I'm carrying my Loewe bag. Um, I should be showing you right now, but I'm being rushed. So anyway, I'll show you later. Bye. All right, so the Fendi glasses I was going to wear are broken. I don't know why, but the bit that goes on the nose... It's because it's in soft cases. Snapped off. Soft it's case. not a soft case. It's not a hard case. It's a hard case. It was the indicator when you... Yeah. I haven't worn it all summer. It was in the it was in the case. Are you sure? Anyway, it's broken off, so when I get to London, I will sort it out. But the ones I'm wearing today are also Fendi. I don't even think they suit me, but oh, I just Fendi. love them. No, no, I really, really love them. No, haven't vlogged for a while. Come back, come back. No, wait. No, They're coming. Wait. No. no. What are you wearing today? I won. I, I am wearing garments. He's wearing off white shirt, off white shorts. These are not uh, what are the shorts? Zara? These are Zara. Oh, Zara shorts, off white shirt. He's got his LV glasses on. Do you want to give us a little turn to the side? <laughs> yeah. Fine afternoon. Hey, Bye. we are nice. all glam dab. Glam glam. Um, Hi, baby is wearing River Island. Ozzy's wearing Burberry shirt and Zara. Chora, what are you wearing? Zara. Chora's wearing Zara. These are fine glasses. Where are they from? Dita.
okay so the lighting in these houses in Ghana is just really bad I'm in one of the bedrooms I don't know if you guys can see ignore that that's like that came with the mirror but um I've got my makeup on I've done my eyeshadow today it's like orange to go with my cult gaia I'm wearing my cult gaia um two piece the top and bottom you'll see pictures once done and I'm just wearing this H&M um maxi I feel like I should go and wear some underwear just to bring this in <laughs> but it's just a maxi dress and I've got my um what are these called again these are Zimmerman sandals rope sandals which I absolutely love I think they're so cute Let's see if I can get some ah uh, put on the light can you guys see well yeah this is what we look like today anyway it's not the greatest mirror for outfits but it's gonna have to do and obviously my hair is in a high high bun high top knot bun and let me turn the camera around so you can see my makeup properly so this is the look today I mean I look really glowy which is nice and I'm happy with my eyeshadow I think I need brighter lips though my lips are a bit too brown I want them to be a bit more nude. The artwork is so pretty in this house, don't you think? Anyway, as I was saying, once I'm, I need to make this pop because right now it's looking a bit brown and I don't want it to be brown. Um, hi, Ozzy. You hiding from the camera? You hiding? Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so we're ready to go and shoot. Hopefully there'll be no one at Sandbox today. We're going really early when it opens, so hopefully there'll be no one there. And I can shoot in peace. Otherwise, uh, I went orange and Sandbox is orange, but I thought if I carry my Birkin, it will give it a nice contrast. If that makes sense? So we'll see anyway. Hopefully it works because I can't think of anything that I want to wear. Um... I feel like the camera's blurry. Yes, it is. Right, fix the focus. Um, as I was, what was I saying? I can't remember. All I'm saying is that hopefully I can. Yeah, that was it. I can take good pictures and I can look good for this reel. Alright, you can see my makeup better here. These earrings. I can't remember where I got them from. They're so old. I think I got them from... I think they might be from Zara. Or... A... Um, hair... Like a hair shop. Can't remember, sorry. But yeah. Not hair shop, sorry. A jewellery brand. Can't remember, sorry guys. They're actually quite old, like two years. So. Anyway, I need to go. I need to go, I need to go, I need to go. Baby sleeping, thank God. Like, I got ready in peace today. But yeah, got to go um, take this peach, these pictures, these reels, and then I'll get back to you guys later with an update with my mum and if she can come to Ghana or not.